Okay, two things at the start. One, my razor battery died uh, before I could shave this morning, so I didn't get to shave today. There's nothing wrong. I just wasn't able to shave, so forgive this. <coughs> Number two, I have this at the ready. I may need it. But I don't know how well I've been able to be heard in the previous... <coughs> Not too bad. Sorry again. But, hello, Troy A. Shadowing Tronics, Art Sound Off Challenge, Lassenge, Didn't Shave. So, um, I want to kind of get off the subject that we've been talking about <coughs> the past few sound offs and get into, um, I just lost my train of thought. Get into something a little uh, closer to my other thing. I've been coming to this not only as a creator but also as a fan. I haven't talked too much about some things as a critic, and that's how I want to do today. I want to talk to some of the other critics out there. Um, and YouTube, especially, is just chock full of angry critics apologetic critics, all these various kinds of critics, and um, I just want to say that there are some things that I think uh, should be realized by critics and by people who are ironically critical of critics. I have the first big rule of critic um, that I think a lot of people can't forget, um, including the critics themselves, how much does your voice actually matter? Here's the thing. No matter how unbiased you think you are, you're not. I mean, I try to to look at things objectively um, as to how how uh, good they are um, on a technical level. But in the end, there is more to story than the technical level, and that's something that a lot of um, producers and investors don't seem to realize. And that's how we've gotten that's how we've gotten a lot of terrible movies, actually shows. Actually, um, I was talking yesterday about Flash Gordon, and that was ruined because some marketing people kind of looked at the surface, which is an annoying trend. Uh, look at just look at it surface view of something and uh, said, well, this is popular. Why isn't this in here? Because it doesn't fit in there, stupid. Um, <coughs> but it's a situation where, um, you know, I think a lot of creators need to realize you can talk about the technical issues all you want, but some of your, sometimes that's not the only reason somebody likes something. Let me put it this way. The Puma Man is one of the uh, most beloved Mystery Science Theater 3000 uh, riffs. I saw that movie as a kid and I enjoyed it just fine the way it was. I mean, now I could actually go through and f tweak a few things and I think I could actually make it work as a fairly decent superhero movie. Not necessarily um, Iron Man level, but I think I could turn it into something better than what it was. Um, but, and again, that's coming in from my perspective. Um, a lot of that is coming in from just what I like in superhero movies, what I like in stories in general. And that's kind of thing, we're all biased. You know, whether you're working for some major newspaper or you're looking for uh, or you're just running some blog on, on Tumblr on the side. We're all biased. Um, it's just kind of a fact. And that goes for the creators too. And that's another bias I'll get to another time. Maybe even something I've discussed on my site before and I may bring it up here before our sound off is done. But um, from a correct perspective, we are biased based on our taste, our preferences, 
You know, it's like I, Roger Ebert, one of the biggest names in uh, movie critic history. I've disagreed with a lot, if not a lot, of his movies. And I'm not talking about the ones that don't interest me anyway, so I don't care. I'm saying, I've liked movies he's hated, he's loved movies I've hated, or just had no interest in. And that's, you know, that's fine, but you have to acknowledge it was based on his taste and his perspective. And um, I have my own tastes and my own perspective. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. Um, but when you go in your, to a critic and you're when you're choosing what critics to listen to, I also not listen to critics that I know I disagree with because I know that um, they will be honest about the technical aspects of it, um, but they may get me to enjoy something that they didn't enjoy because of the way. I see it versus what I see it. I'll give you a good example outside of media. Um, there's a reviewer on here called Optobotomus. He reviews Transformers, primarily Transformers. And um, he reviewed this uh, set of Minicon combiners, the last set of the um, classic style Minicons, uh, which probably won't mean anything to non Transformer fans. But the point is, he as he did this review, he's showing off the figures, he's showing off the vehicle modes and the robot modes and the combined robot and um, talking about how much he didn't like it. But the more he was showing it off, the more it looked good to me. And the more I kind of wanted to get it. So I did. And I was right. I really like it. It's <clears throat> now When it comes to there's only really to my knowledge three teams, as far as molds go, of Minicons that combine into a robot, and this may be my favorite. But that's relatively, but that's kind of to limit, because I actually enjoyed the other, t uh, like the other two, you know, the, the two uh, Perceptors. Um, again, you'd have to understand, I'm not going to sit here and explain Transformers to you guys, because a lot of you probably don't care. But the point is that in his review, he was talking about how much he hated it. But the more he was showing it off, the more it looked like something I wanted, and that's what I got. And I do that a lot with um, TV and movies as well, and other media, and comics, and everything else. I saw some of look review, and they're talking about how bad it is. But the more they're discussing it, the more it actually kind of intrigues me. The more it sounds like something I would enjoy. So... Um, understand that a lot of I probably put down stuff that other people in fact I know I have I put down stuff that other people like because it went to their tastes and I've celebrated stuff that other people didn't like because it went into my tastes I don't always agree with the group um, but I admit that a lot of it comes from my biases and another thing you gotta remember too is somebody put most of the time, somebody put a lot of work into this to make it good. If it doesn't come out that great, fine. I mean, not, you can trash a work without crashing the person who made it, unless it's like the dude who made Birth of a Nation. But that, then that movie is good on a technical level. If I'm getting my title correct, it's also the one uh, that was pro KKK. So, so its message is garbage. The, the movie itself is probably garbage, but the cinematography is supposed to be really good. And that, so there's an extreme example for you on um, how something could be good on a tactical level and be garbage on everything else. The story could be terrible. The characters could be terrible. Maybe the acting isn't that great. Or maybe it is. It's good, good acting would at least be part of the tactical side. But there are some directors who are not very good at getting the right emotions out of people. Um, just look at the Star Wars prequels. Um, but I think ultimately, you have to remember as a critic is, your word is not gospel. And in critic you fault, their word is not gospel. Their word is based on 
their perspective on the way so and maybe they can <clears throat> make you see something from an angle that you maybe didn't beforehand and that's fine I'm all in favor of that but um, at the same time they also have to um, what was I gonna say yes again this is why I need a script um, <clears throat> they make you think about something differently but in the end, you shouldn't let what they say influence what you think. As, I mean, as much as, just because they liked it doesn't mean you have to suddenly change your mind. Just because it's popular doesn't mean you have to like it. Just because it's unpopular doesn't mean you have to hate it. You know, in the end, you're afraid to be yourself. Everybody is a critic. That, you know, the old expression, everybody's a critic. It's true. It's just some of us are better at writing or... Uh, being a, a presence on camera or whatever else and ultimately that you may be better at explaining what something is maybe you know a lot of the technical terms and maybe you discuss it a bit more than other people but in the end it is still always going to be one person's opinion and you have to ex accept that, that as a critic you may like him you can like it, you cannot like it. Do not trash the creator because unless something in their message was horrible, uh, in the end, persons should be judged for who they are. A bad person can make a great movie. A great person can make a terrible movie. It's not based on who the person is. This is where you talk about divorcing the creator from the work. You know, um, and maybe that's something else we'll talk about. We can just we can discuss it, or maybe not. But um, I, I think I'm kind of rambling at this point, um, and I'm doing it with lodging in my mouth is probably annoying a lot of people. So I think I'll stop here. Um, I hope I've made my point though. When you're going to be a critic, admit your biases and move on. That's, I try. I admit my biases all the time, but I do try to be as objective objective as possible with the work. It may be bad, and I can still enjoy it. It may be good, and I still don't enjoy it. You know, and I will try to be honest in my recommendations based on that. Um, but I think I hope I've made my point. I don't know. I want to get to bed soon. Um, <clears throat> but if you want to see something a little more coherent, so and you like reading, you can read my articles and my comic at bwspotlight.com. If you want to see what the other art set off participants are talking about, you can go to um, Twitter and look for the hashtag art sound off and be sure to click on latest instead of top because you want to make sure you get us all and our latest installment. And if you want to join us, go to leadingart.com slash art sound off and learn how. Um, until then, I wish you all happy creating.